in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffey, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. There was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Spooning Reviews, and this is Life is Strange, Episode 3, Part 1. Um, Chaos Theory is the name of this episode. Um, I don't have much to say. You all just watched a little uh, rewind, if you will, especially for this, of what happened last time. So we're just gonna actually... Uh... For those unaware, we normally drink at the beginning of episodes, in the middle of episodes, any time in episodes. It doesn't matter. You know, alcoholism doesn't need a doesn't need a premise, right? That's the point. Uh, so everybody raise a glass, whether it's liquor, water, or anything in between. Three, two, one, cheers. Let's roll. Oops. Wrong button. Excuse me, to break the tension, um, I've never fallen asleep at my desk. <laughs> Even when I fall asleep and I think I'm at my computer, I always wake up in my bed. Every time. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. What the fuck? I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, I don't know where all that came from. I'm really pissed off because I gave this plant all sorts of water, thinking... Um... I'm glad the media doesn't waste a second ex hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste black robe bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too huh. To me. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Hey, bunny, don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. There are... Epis I'm sorry, there are photos to be I taken swear, here. I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Um... So much hypocrite. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody pays for this. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody pays for this. Oh, wrong button. Wait. What? No. There's a couple things going on actually here. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? I'm gonna make sure I like this. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gen- Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Um... I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being named. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about it. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. 
So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hmm. Dana looks so sad. Even though she's trying... Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Okay. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Hmm, wait, what? This is both sad and pathetic. Uh Jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Uh it's Victoria. Which room is fucking Victoria's? Oh, Stella. Sad face. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Oh. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Fuck it. So let's peruse, shall we? Okay. From this way. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Wait. There we go. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Oh, I guess there's no more. Okay. Um. Wait, there we go. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Hmm. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Hmm. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Nothing to see here. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. 
Color me impressed. I don't want to leave. I felt like I found nothing. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Hmm. I feel... Maybe I didn't find what I was supposed to find, but there's... Oh, wait. Wait, here we go. Those boots are made for walking runways. Oh. No, this way. I didn't find anything there. I looked, I really did, but there wasn't shit. So we're leaving. We're leaving, guys. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Campus looks like a cemetery. Am I supposed to get up? Supposed to take a look. Oh, shit. can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? I'm gonna go. Come on. Feeling you're sorry for yourself when Kate Barnes is spent Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, man. Hmm. How do I get by him? How do I get past him to meet Chloe? Uh, go faster. Look at Feel like you're sorry for yourself when Kate Barch's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. You call this place Black Hell. Let's uh, try talking to him again, maybe. Miss I didn't have any answers, so I don't know why I thought that was gonna be different.
Max the ninja strikes again. Not gonna lie, that took me way longer than it should have. Uh, we are at, we're at like 30 minutes already for the episode, but a lot of this is gonna be cut out. So what we're gonna do real quick, real quick guys, super quick. I'm looking at something prettier. Real quick guys, hold on. Real quick guys, stop it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Uh, three to one cheers. Ah, uh, good stuff. Okay, we'll go for a little bit. Oh, we'll go for a little bit more. Booyah! Oh, god damn it, Chloe. Get it? Booyah! Like a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? If it's over the water, it's still a hurricane. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No, baby. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hate. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Frick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in crime. Insert groan here. The lines. I don't even know what to say, guys. Holy shit. So much for helping me put together a portfolio. Oh shit. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. Sorry, oh, I was what? as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victor. Well, well. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. Dude. I'm like still in shock. I've he slicks back his hair before. to to really get can't. into their panties. Katie, I mean, that's all that it is. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from... Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. 
Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together? Oh. Speak to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And uh, I haven't picked the winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Smooth! Are you fucking kidding me? I think Victoria can't get any more evil. She was about to get real with Rockwell. Let's go find out. Wait, we don't get a choice? Oh, no, we're just going in there. I assume we'd get to follow one of them. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't even know where this lands us, but we're going to go ahead and call this episode quits. I apologize if I were a little distracted. It was a weird episode, so uh, take that for what it is. But uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let me know you appreciate the content. You want more of it, all the good jazz. If you have any comments, criticisms, suggestions, critiques, put it down in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and we'll see you in the next part.